we gather here today, uh, appropriately during the 125th uh, birth anniversary uh, year of uh, the great mathematician Srinivasa Ramanujan, uh, to discuss essentially why the realm of Indian science and research, you know, despite having some of the world's finest institutions in mind, uh, finds itself uh, in a bit of a pessimistic mood, a bit of a uh, blue funk. This is the first time in history of India in the last 300 years that India has received some respect from the Committee of Nations. This is the first time that people expect something worthwhile from India to happen. First time when the influential people and thinker get excited about India. Therefore, if we have to consolidate on whatever little attention we have gotten, whatever little we have accomplished, to make sure that it becomes permanent, speed is of essence. Sci research in science and engineering of S is of essence because I don't know of any country that has indeed succeeded in bringing prosperity to its people without focus on research in science and engineering. If we indeed want to bring inclusive growth, as our Prime Minister keeps talking about, then we must realize that focus on research in science and engineering becomes even more important because we have to find quick solutions, problems of agricultural productivity, problems of healthcare, problems of nutrition, shelter, etc. There might be some suggestions in which we can try to make, uh, make changes. So uh, the way in which we approach entrance to elite, institu elite undergraduate institutions like the IITs or uh, through a competition which, which picks for one kind of people. It's uh, people who are very good at taking a, a particular test and uh, which you prepare for, in some cases, for several years in advance. And this may not necessarily be, uh, be the way in which we can train people to take a career in science or research, which often has a very different set of skills of being persistent being, uh, of being comfortable with being confused for a long period of time and uh, just liking something for its own sake rather than for a very immediate goal. And uh, so I think that all, although these exams are picking out uh, very, very smart people, it uh, also seems that we are missing out probably on uh, uh, maybe a sample of at least five times as many students who are equally good or maybe very good in science and, uh, and research, and we have no real way of training them.